hello world welcome back to my channel i am sahil and i have started developing full authentication and post management system project using node.js mongodb express.js and ejs templating engine and in previous video you have already seen the full demo of this project now today in this video i will start with the project setup and mongodb cloud database setup actually mongodb cloud is also known as mongodb atlas okay so let's start with the project setup so for this what i will do is i will create a project directory in my desktop you can create anywhere you want but i will create in my desktop and i will name it node underscore auth underscore posts okay and then i will open this project directory inside my vs code editor and then i will open the vs code terminal and here first i will run a command that is npm init space hyphen y now this command will uh, create a package.json file here you can see now before going to do anything first i will install all the required dependencies for this project okay so here uh, in terminal i will write npm i to install and here i will write all the packages name okay so first i will use express now express is a uh, a framework based on node.js and it is used for uh, routing and overall management of the application okay and next i will install mongoose now mongoose is an odm that is also known as object uh, data modeling for a uh, mongodb database okay so i will use mongoose for creating uh, models and uh, interacting with the mongodb database okay now next i will install ejs now ejs stand for uh, embedded javascript it is it is an templating engine which i will use in this project okay next i will use multer now multer package is responsible for handling file uploads okay so i will use multer for file uploads now next i will use uh, node mailer now node mailer package is responsible for sending emails so i will use this package and then i will use bcrypt.js for hashing password so here i will write b c r y p t bcrypt.js and then i will install uh, express session for session management in this project and then i will also install cookie parser for parsing cookies and then i will also install uh, connect flash connect flash uh, for displaying flash messages okay and i will also install connect mongodb session to store the sessions into the database mongodb database okay i think all done now let's hit enter to install all these dependency into this project it will take a few seconds depending on the internet speed okay so just wait okay so here you can see all the dependencies has been installed successfully and there is a node underscore module folder created along with package lock dot json file okay now if you open this package.json file again then here in dependencies you can see the list of all the dependencies okay and here you can see i am using the express latest version that is 4.19.2 okay now next what i will do is i will uh, change something in this package.json file first so here in main file i will use server.js so i will use server.js file as our main entry file okay and next i will use type module by default uh, if we not use type module then it will use common js okay so what is this module means so if we use a uh, type module here then we can use import statement to import the uh, packages okay now next uh, we will define some scripts so i will remove this one and first i will use start and then i will write node and the main entry file that is server 
and I'll create one more that is Dave and here also I will use node and the main entry file that is server but here I will use a flag that is watch now whenever we save any file then uh, the server will be restarted automatically uh, if we use this watch flag before uh, this uh, we use node mon package for this but now in uh, express uh, latest version we have this uh, feature okay also let me create a dot env file dot env file for environment variables so here i will create a port sorry port is equal to 3000 and save this file now to use environment variables in uh, the main entry file or wherever we want we have to use a package that is known as dot env but uh, in latest version of express we do not uh, need to install any third party libraries okay we can simply write a flag here that is env file is equal to dot env okay now if i save this and let me create a server dot js file which is our main entry file and here i will first import express so here i'll write express from express not from from express okay and uh, then i'll create a instance of express that is app and then i will uh, just create a get request with the home route with message hello world for now and then i will use app listen on port 3000 okay now if i just use npm run dev then it will start our server on this so now if i open this link then you can see the message hello world okay now let's uh, change anything like uh, hello uh, from express js and if i save this and if i reload then you can see the server automatically uh, reloaded and here the changes uh, reflected and we can see the changes okay now next uh, i will create a variable const port is equal to 3000 if not sorry first we will use process dot env dot port if there is any value available in port in the dot env file then it will take from there and if not then this will be used okay so uh, let me just use the port here and also here so let me just use template literal and here just write port now if i save this then you can see the server restarted automatically and if i reload then you can see same message now let's change the env port like uh, 5000 and if i save this and okay so we have change uh, changed the environment variable value so we have to stop the server and restart again so let's restart now you can see this time using 5000 uh, port so if i reload here then you can see this is not working but here if i write local host 5000 then this is working okay so let's go to dot env file and change to 3000 okay and let's sorry let's restart the server again into 3000 port now it's working now let's create the mongodb cloud based database okay so for this in browser just write mongodb.com and let's wait now here just uh, 
click on try free if you have not created any account in this website i have already created so i will go to sign in and then i will choose sign in with google and okay so here you can see i have already created a project and i am using in another project but uh, let me show you how to create a new project so here uh, i will if i select here project then you can see there is total one project that is project zero i can create a new project by clicking this create new project so let's create a new project and here i'll write node node or posts i will name this project this and then i will press enter and i will just click on create project okay once the project is created then here you can see by default the project is selected now let's uh, click on database and click on build a cluster so i will select this free one okay m0 free one and uh, let's click on create now here uh, select all square with fire hydrant okay let me verify it okay so this is now verified now it is asking for the username and password for the authentication okay so for the for now here i am using username as root and password is also root okay and i will click on create user so user is created now you have to whitelist your ip to access this database so by default it will uh, it will take uh, my current ip address here you can see now let's uh, click on finish and close and i will not just go to overview so let's wait now cluster is creating so you can see cluster is created now click on connect and uh, i will use driver and i will select node.js and this is the latest version select latest version and i will copy this uri okay so let's copy this one and go to your application and in dot env i will create a variable that is uh, mongo mongo db underscore uri is equal to and then paste okay you can just paste inside the double quotation and here this is the username and in password you have to write the password so password is also root so just write root and you can change the name of the cluster but i will keep the same now save now to connect with the database what i will do is i will create a new file that is db.js file and here uh, what i will do is i will import mongoose from mongoose and then i will export export default async i will use async and then i will use function and then i will use connect mongodb connect mongodb the name of the function you can name the function anything which you want and here i will use try and catch now in error i will just console log the error okay and in try what i will do is i will actually the spelling of default is wrong d e f a u l t default okay now in try i will write await await mongoose dot connect and then here i will access the uri so here i will write process 
प्रोसेस डॉट ई एन वी डॉट मोंगो डी बी अंडर स्कोर यू आर आई एंड देन आई विल यूज कॉन्सोल लॉग कनेक्टेड टू मोंगो डी बी ओके लेट सेव दिस एंड गो टू सर्वर डॉट जेस फाइल नाउ हेयर वॉट आई विल डू इज आई विल इम्पोर्ट दिस हेयर एक्चुअली आई कैन जस्ट राइट हेयर connect to mongodb database okay database and here i will just use connect mongodb function name okay you can see it is automatically uh, imported from this file here we have to write dot js okay now you can see server uh, restarting now let's wait so you can see server is running on port 3000 and also connected to our mongo mongodb database okay so that's it for this video in next video i will show you uh, how to use ejs for templating engine and how to create views okay along with also how to create model and controllers and also routes okay so there are so many things which will be uh, which we will cover in upcoming videos so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel